In this video, I have some fun, free, and open source puzzle games for you to solve. The games are Blockout, Me and My Shadow, Pingus, Kiki the Nanobot, and Exmoto. This first game, Blockout, or Blockout 2, is like a three-dimensional uh, Tetris game. So you're looking from the top down, and you drop the different uh, shapes that you're presented with in this 3D space. And it becomes a different color based on the level you're on. That's how you can tell uh, what level you are on in the game, or what, uh, you know, there's the first level, the second level. I'm talking about uh, a layer, I guess is what I should say. Anyway, and then when you complete, when you fill in a complete layer, that layer will disappear, just like in Tetris, and your score increases. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then you can rotate the shapes around um, in 3D space, so you have lots of different ways to rotate and orient them, and they slowly fall down level by level, and the speed at which they fall increases with time. So again, just a basic Tetris game, but in 3D space. A lot of fun. Also, open source. You can get involved and improve this project uh, or download the source code and modify it yourself. So, that's one I want to share with you. A good puzzle-solving game. The next game is Me and My Shadow. And this one's really cool. Um, a lot different. This is almost like a side-scrolling game um, a little bit. But So, you have yourself and then you have your shadow. And you have to get both of you to a certain point in the game and to... Uh, gather certain objects and to get in these doors. And so here's an example, like whatever you do, it shows these dotted lines. And then when you're done completing your action, your shadow will do the same thing. Um, but the difference is it'll your shadow is not always moving from the same point you are. And so sometimes you'll need to take that into consideration. You can also um, jump on top of your shadow. You can stand on each other. And so, um, yeah, and then there's these little switch points, too, where you can kind of teleport or switch to different points in the map. Uh, lots of cool maps, too. This is like a very big one. I'm not sure if there's a map editor on this, but again, it is open source, so you can probably design your own maps and modify the gameplay. You could have like a third shadow or something. Uh, but this is a pretty, pretty unique and interesting game. The next game is Pingus. I think that's how you say it, Pingus. This game is like the Lemmings games, if you've ever played Lemmings. So you basically have this map, or this, uh, you, you, the, the goal is to get to this exit point. And you have to save a certain amount of these penguins in this case. Uh, and you have different tools, so you have digging is what they're doing now. If they fall too far, they'll die, so you have to give them like umbrellas. So you equip them with different tools or different abilities in order for them to traverse this map without killing themselves and to escape. And uh, again, the goal is to have as many of them escape. A certain threshold of them have to escape without dying. Otherwise, you lose the game. You know, if once they're all equipped, you don't need to do anything else. Just speed up the gameplay. Uh, there's also a uh, map editor. So you can actually edit your own maps. And I didn't get involved in that, in that too much. There's lots of different maps you can choose from. Um, lots of different maps. There's different tools that you have uh, with each map. But this, this is the actual map editor here where you can go in and you actually create your own map, which is awesome. And you can upload that, share it with the community, possibly get your map added to be a part of the game, which would be really cool. So when people download it, they see your map. This next game, Kiki the Nanobot. This is a 3D uh, puzzle game. So you're this little nanobot, I guess, this little robot, and you need to drive around. You can drive up the walls. You can drive all around on any surface you find, and you can jump. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And so you need to either you need to get to the to a certain waypoint. So I'm not sure if you gather objects, but you have to get to this waypoint. And there's different complex levels. You can push, like they push this gear here to engage it, and so you can push objects and move them around. Also, like I said, you can drive on any different, on any plane that you want to of this 3D uh, world you're in. So it's an interesting one if you have an engineering mind or if you like to solve puzzles again, just kind of, uh, yeah, figuring out how to solve these puzzles that get more and more complex as the game advances. This last game is Xmodo, and I've showed this one in previous videos, but uh, it's also a puzzle game. I had it in with the side-scrolling, but it's actually more of a puzzle game. Um, 
And so you just try to get to these endpoints. You try to get to this ball and you try to do it without dying. And so if you hit your head at all, then you die. This is similar. I think there's a lot of mobile apps that are similar to this game. But it's kind of fun and it's more of a puzzle than anything trying to figure out uh, how to how to do it. You work a lot with gravity and figuring out the mechanics and the gravity of this different biker and how he, and how he can rotate, spin, turn around. And that's the game. Exmoto. This is one of my favorite ones here. <clears throat> it's not even super advanced, but it's just... It takes forever. This game's very addicting. It takes forever to, to complete it. So there's the games I wanted to show you. I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and download the, some of these games. Try them out for yourself. Let me know which ones are your favorite. Or if you have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next video.